It's an average day in the bustling Chinese city of Shenzhen. But unlike most other mega cities across the globe, you won't find many jaywalkers here. That's because this city, like others in China, uses facial recognition software to dissuade pedestrians from crossing when they're not supposed to. Using strategically placed cameras at troublesome intersections, the city is able to detect jaywalkers. And if you get caught, then your image gets displayed on the nearby screen, and a fine gets sent right to your cell phone. Authorities say these cameras help prevent a leading cause of death. This system by Shenzhen-based company Intellifusion is capable of identifying an individual in seconds. The software works by creating a map of people's faces based on photos and videos they've shared on WeChat. The technology reads your face by looking at unique individual identifiers. The company boasts that its algorithm is over 99% accurate, making zero mistakes for every 100,000 matches. Penalizing jaywalkers isn't its only function. If you're on Facebook or use your smartphone, then you probably have seen and even used technology just like this to tag a photo or even to unlock your device. Just like the tech we use in our daily lives, these cameras use artificial intelligence. The cutting-edge technology looks to give computers the ability to perform higher-level computing, mimicking human function. Its applications are many, and as we see in Shenzhen, it's playing an increasingly larger role in our society. China, an early adapter of artificial intelligence systems, has been using this technology to bring its cities and industries into the future. These cameras in Hangzhou are also on municipal duty, where they serve as the eyes for City Brain, this city's high-tech nervous system. Cameras spread across the city, monitoring traffic, sidewalks, and other public areas to help municipal functions. By analyzing a large number of images with powerful cloud computing technology and AI, these cameras help police fight the ever-growing problem of traffic. And as cities get smarter, so do their public services. This bus may appear to have a driver, but look closer. The driver's hands aren't on the wheel because they don't have to be. Artificial intelligence allows this bus to navigate the streets of Shenzhen using a series of cameras and sensors, much like what you would see in a Tesla. The bus can navigate, change lanes, accelerate, and even emergency brake all on its own. The driver here acts as a safety in the event of system error. Buses aren't the only robots working in the service sector. Have a seat at your table, use the app to place your order, and have a robot deliver your food right to your table. This market may appear identical to others around the globe, however, it's run by tech giant Alibaba. And customers here don't use cash or credit. Instead, shoppers walk through the many rows deciding what they want and ultimately paying with their mobile phones. This is not only convenient, but it promises to cut down on food waste, as markets can use data generated by purchases to determine just how much of each product they need to order. AI is also being used to give the struggling world of traditional brick-and-mortar retail a facelift. 
China is home to the world's second largest retail market. Consumers here spent 5.69 trillion U.S. dollars on retail in 2017. 58.8% of its yearly economic expansion came from retail. We are a computer vision company and this design actually represents an eye. Mei Long is a Shenzhen company looking to bring the information age into mortar retail through the use of AI. So you just simply click upload test photo. Its co-founder is Matt Scott, a New Yorker who worked at Microsoft Asia before the company was founded. We believe that AI is a technology that can be combined with traditional industries to really elevate them to the next level of their productivity. So traditional retail has not seen that many technological advances in recent years, but now it's starting to change. Their software allows computers to look at a product and categorize it by attributes such as design. This one is in particular the fashion visual analysis. This software also allows Malong to branch out into the medical field. With our technology, we're able to reduce the amount of human labor that's needed to label images. This is very useful for retail, but also very useful for medical. It helps to go past the issue of poorly labeled data or inconsistently labeled data. So we've applied this technology to various tasks in medical image analysis, and we've been able to get the highest performing results um, in the world based on academic benchmarks. China is facing a major shortage of medical doctors. Despite its massive population, there are only 1.5 doctors to every 1,000 patients. To supplement the shortage, AI is being rolled out to hospitals. Deep Care is another AI firm in the fast-growing medical application field. Their CEO, Ding Pong, believes their tools will be able to give doctors across the country a helping hand. It usually takes about five to 10 minutes for a human to read and understand one slide, but it only takes one to two minutes for four or five AI pathologists to read one slide. The company promises their products will not only help cut down on the workload, but more importantly, they'll help doctors to be more precise and accurate. 200 years of knowledge of human doctor can be learned by the computer in several weeks. Yeah. So that's the power. China has shown great interest in the promise of artificial intelligence. Cities are investing in AI development through grants and specialty education programs. The city of Tianjin, for example, set up a fund worth 16 billion US dollars to prop up the AI industry. Here at Shanghai Tech University, students get rare hands-on experience under the helm of Professor Soren Swartfinger, who joined the program from Germany. I have a very nice, very big robotics lab. I have lots of money for hardware and also excellent students. Robotics is really uh, developing right now everywhere in the world. And China is kind of a center of it because China is the biggest market for robots worldwide and also the fastest growing market. So it's really the right place to be in China if you want to do robotics. Students get to tinker with cutting-edge robotic hardware and even an autonomous car. We do road shows to universities and everyone is studying computer science. Everyone is studying artificial intelligence related areas and so there's just such a large pipeline of talents that are available. It's very important to have the great talents in China. It's one of the best places to hire computer vision talents in particular. What's on display today in China is still just the tip of the iceberg, but an important step in future development. When it comes to new technology, China is really open. Also, the people in China are very open to new technology. You see this everywhere. We are paying with smartphones and so on. So that's a good thing for research and AI in China. What's been impressive to me is just how AI has been doing such a good job on the benchmarks. And now not just approaching human level performance on so many different benchmarks, but actually exceeding it. So what's really the future is not just human level performance, but superhuman level. With AI still in its infancy, this technology promises to bring greater efficiency to all aspects of life.